In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can make your own drawing tools inside of Fusion to make a cartoon shape with a stroke where you can customize the color and the stroke color, and you can really easily just kind of draw your own shapes from scratch and make your own kind of vector art with like a custom border width and all these cool things that you can do creating your own drawing tools in Fusion. My name is Casey. I help content creators learn how to make amazing things in Fusion. And today we're getting kind of in the weeds. We're getting kind of crazy. We're making our own macro, which is like our own little tool inside of Fusion that makes it really easy for us to draw anything. And the idea is you can just grab this tool and let's say I wanna make some mountains. I can kind of turn this green and maybe I'll make my stroke color kind of a dark green. I can, you know, make some mountains here like this. Boom, and I have my green mountains with my stroke. I can adjust my stroke width. Oh, and I could put that over, you know, a blue background or whatever for the sky like this. And now we have a little bit of art. Oh, so cool. So easy. Let's add a happy little cloud, shall we? We'll make this kind of white and we'll draw a little happy cloud. <laughs> Boom. So now we have a cloud. Maybe we want the stroke color to be more of kind of a blue. Maybe we want the border or maybe we just want to take the border width off. You know, it's our freedom. But how the heck do we do this? Let's jump in. Yay. So let's get started. I just have a blank fusion project here and I'm going to start with dragging a background in and plugging that into my media out. And let's make this somewhat nice. Let's make this kind of a nice sort of a grayish, you know, whitish kind of background. So probably the easiest way to draw a custom shape is just by getting a background node like this. And that's going to be the color for the shape. So let's kind of make this more of a red and we'll merge this over our background. And now we have this red. But to make the shape for the shape, we just use a mask and put the mask on it like this. And so let's draw a little uh, heart maybe, you know, something like that. Here we go. That's kind of not a great heart. <laughs> but if I hold control, I can grab these little handles like this and can I can make, you know, I can make a pretty good heart, something like that. All right. So that's kind of the base color and shape for our heart. Yeah, it's looking nice. And that's really kind of the most basic way to draw something in Fusion as far as like a custom shape goes. It's just a mask on the background. You have a lot of control over the shape of the mask. You have a lot of control over the color. You can even switch this color to, you know, a gradient or something like that if you want to. But yeah, that's kind of the basics. But how do we get a stroke around this? Well, we can do sort of a similar thing. I'll grab a background node. Let's just keep this black for now and I'll merge this over. And the cool thing about nodes is you can reuse a node. You can just take the output of the node and plug it into another node. And now we have a black heart over that red heart. And if I were to grab this merge and kind of move the transforms around, we see that we're using the same mask both on the red background and the black background. But this doesn't make a stroke. This is just kind of another filled in layer here. But if we go into the mask and we select that, we can adjust some of the properties here in the inspector, for instance, border width and uncheck solid. And look, we're making a stroke. But now we don't have the fill. That's because we're using the same mask for our fill and our stroke color. So we really only want this on our stroke. I can just undo that. And so we have our background behind it. So one thing we could do is copy and paste this mask by control C, control V, right? And I can connect this into our background and I'll go into this polygon here and I'll make sure we have this solid and I'll reset the border width. Now we have our shape with a stroke around it. The problem is that if I were to grab this stroke and move this around, look what happens, it breaks. So there's a real fancy way you can kind of make this by just grabbing either of these masks. I'll hit control C, but this time I'll double click off and hit control shift V and that will make an instance of our mask. I'll connect this to our background. And what's cool is an instance is a linked copy of the mask. So if I change this mask around, it also changes the other mask around. They both move at the same time, but I can unlink certain properties so I could go in here and de-instance our solid and look what happens, bloop. I can make this one not solid and I can keep our original one solid. I could do the same thing for border width, de-instance, and then I can push up this border width like this and look, we have what we want. And if I grab the edge of this, look what happens. Oh baby, we've got ourselves what we call a custom shape with a stroke. And so this is pretty neat because you can make your own drawing tools inside of Fusion. And even though setting this up was kind of, you know, a little bit more work than you would think of just drawing a shape and adding a stroke. We really only have to do this once because now we have this little drawing tool. So I can just kind of select all of this and delete it like this. Maybe I'll get rid of our background and our merge here. And now we have our fill color. We have our stroke color. We have our stroke mask and our fill mask. 
And now we kind of have this as our own little tool. I can just select this fill mask and draw whatever shape I want, and it will automatically fill that in and kind of become a thing. Oh, baby, so cool. One thing I'll do is right click on the right click here for shape animation. I'll go down and just remove polygon one polyline. That's gonna remove that animation, which it looks like there's gonna be an error, but it's actually fine. And then if I make my shape and then I move around in the timeline and I adjust this, it isn't going to automatically keyframe it. I can kind of choose to do that later. And it also plays back a little nicer. So yeah, I can just delete this. And then I could do something like select all of these, right click, and go to macro, create macro, and I can publish all of these things like the stroke color. I'll just select all of these and the fill color. We'll call this stroke color like that. And I can publish the border width for our stroke mask. I can publish the polyline for our fill mask, and we can make this drawing tool one. Go up to these three dots and hit save, and it'll save in my macros directory for fusion. I'll hit save close like that and now look at this shift spacebar I can bring up drawing tool like this and now I can just draw and it makes that shape and I can adjust the color and I can adjust the stroke color whatever I want to do and I have a simple little shape that I can use inside of fusion easy way to draw things with a stroke and I can adjust the stroke width and it's pretty slick being able to make your own drawing tools in fusion this is the same kind of process we use to make our cartoon which we recently put out and we have a whole new bonus chapter in our fusion course fusion zero to hero on creating your own drawing tools and making your own custom cartoon rigs inside of fusion it's very exciting so if you haven't checked out fusion zero to hero that's a great course if you aren't really familiar with fusion and you want to learn how to make your videos better by making your own custom motion graphics and visual effects inside of fusion make sure to check that out but yeah pretty cool stuff huh thanks so much for watching i hope you have an awesome day